Hello, fellow traders, tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, July the 23rd, the year's 2021. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap-up. And this video, like all the other trading videos, are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Let's take a look at the weekly. We had one pair, the uh, New Zealand Swiss franc that did not fill the weekly opening gap. So hopefully uh, you weren't stuck trying to fill that gap on that particular pair. The pound has made some very interesting moves this week. On Monday, we dropped through the uh, opening range for the month into the opening range for the year. Then on Tuesday, we actually dropped below and closed below the yearly open. Wednesday, we came screaming above the yearly open. We actually went above the um, opening range, which was the first day of the year the range, and we closed slightly above it. And then on Thursday, we dipped below it, came above it, back into the opening range for the month we closed within the opening range for the month and then we also as you can see went above the opening range for the week on thursday and today and then we dropped back below the uh, opening range for the week and below the uh, weekly open and right now we're right on the uh low of the opening range of the month very interesting i don't think we've seen that the entire year so as you can see there's there's these overlaps once again above and below or below and back above the weekly open or a hundred i'm sorry yearly open 111 pips so we're green on the month but we're red across the board here The inside bar, once again this week, interesting. We broke out of the low of the monthly inside bar that occurred four months ago. We came back through it. And actually on Monday, we broke out of the inside bar of the week, which occurred two weeks ago. And as you can see, we're back towards those inside, those inside bars once again. And it looks like today might be a daily inside bar, this, this candle right here. So next week, we'll see these daily inside bar lines move unless something happens over the next hour or two. Lots of inside bar action, as you can see, a lot of blue and a lot of gray over here. The range, only 60 pips today. And we look at the... Um, buy zone the weekly open and the monthly open were almost the same right here you can see i think they were off by about two points we had the pivot point below the open you can see here it went down took out the pivot came back up and it didn't really have a uh if you were fading the pivot you didn't have a, a trigger if you don't fade the pivot you had a couple of triggers but you see price just couldn't close above the uh, buy zone. But on the short side, the short zone definitely paid off a few times. And rats, you can see here, the uh, green rats had a chance to feast and then the red rats had a chance to feast. And well, let's wait for a, a chart. But, you know, the whole week we were talking about, you know, good trading is repetitive, so is bad. And, you know, this is one of those repetitive patterns. Price makes a high, comes off the high. Price makes a low, comes off the low. Every day, it's repetitive. Once again, we took out that pivot. You can see here we took out the pivot, but we still have these two pivots that are pretty close here. We've got the pivot from four days ago and the pivot from one day ago. One of those pivots is going to get taken out soon. 
And you know, there was a there was a key right here. You had a miss pivot followed by another miss pivot. And you know, two consecutive misses have only happened eleven times. Three have only happened two times. So um this was, you know, fading the pivot uh, a couple of days ago was definitely a statistical move that would have paid off very nicely. And so I guess I'm thinking I might need one more statistic. How many bars? Uh, let's see, that's Miss Pivots. 250 bars. So 250 bars, which is basically a year's worth of trading days. Um, you can see here, just doesn't happen that often. Now, the wick zone, in and out, the upper wick zone. Once again, very repetitive. Pretty much happens every day. The price is going to move in and out of one of the wick zones, if not both. Range for the week. We're at the 83 percentile, 215 pips versus 149 last week. So you can see we matched four weeks ago, 215. And if you're wondering why this number is different than this, it's probably because this is probably 215 point something, and this is 215 point something, and it's just that's where it fell when it calculated the actual percentile. And remember, I switched this instead of doing 100 weeks or days, I'm only looking at the last 12. So today's range, zero percentile over the last 12, it was the lowest. Average was 99. So three out of the last five days was above average. On the week, we didn't break out of the previous week's high, but the low, 189 pips, the last 12 weeks puts us at the 83 percentile. So once again, those weekly uh, wick zones or uh, high-low breakouts can be very profitable. Or like you can look at the last week, it really wasn't, that breakout didn't pay off that, that much. That breakout there did not pay off that much. Um, what I was going to talk, want to talk about was once again, repetitive. I've told, and I've repeated over and over about the 40 launch pad, 3740. You see price came down, came across, tried to cross it there, tried to cross it there, tried to cross it there, failed. But then we put in this two ball down here, the 20 price hit the 40 and took off like a rocket past the 60. Once again, repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. Observational, yes. It's not hindsight because it's a trade that we put on when it happens. And the thing is, you can't be anxious. And one of the things that repeats is you'll see price, you know, move either up or down. Then it'll range, then it'll move either up or down, then it'll range, then it'll move either up or down, and then it'll range. So usually, you know, a breakout happens a lot of times after price is ranged. So you can see it on H1, and you can see it on M5. I mean, price starts the range and it breaks out. Price starts the range, it breaks out. Starts the range, it breaks out. Um, it, it's repetitive. You just have to be able to identify what price is doing. And then you place your trade accordingly. And then it's risk management up until the point where it becomes money management. Risk is how much you lose. Money is how much you get to take. And it's up to the market whether or not it gives you an opportunity to take profit. And a lot of traders um, haven't come to that realization. 
Um, in fact, I was talking with Walmart, and we've been talking about um, psychology, the brain management aspect of trading, probably on and off or, or a lot over the past, what, two, three, four months. I'd have to go back and look. So starting next week, I said, um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about analyzing the chart kind of what like I just did when I talked about price ranging and then price breaking out the different things to look for you know we Walter says or Walmart says look left a lot and you know I say you know look left um but you know we're going to probably really get into some of the nuts and bolts about analyzing the chart now one thing you have to understand, I'll probably have to repeat myself <laughs> next week, is you go in and you have your risk management set up. You know how much you're willing to lose per trade. And then you go in and you get your brain, your headspace in the right place. Then you go in and you come up with a trading plan. In other words, when price does, when, when you see X on the chart, and maybe why on the chart, then you execute. So for example, you know, we see price hit the, the low of the previous H1 candle. So we're going to go short there because it's above the Walmart line. Here, we'll go long at this Walmart line, and we might stack on at this Walmart line. And that's just, um, and, and that's the trade. That's the method. That's the trade. That's the triggers. We, we've got that in place. Now, so what do you need to analyze? Well, you say, well, look here. Price did it crossed above, but it didn't close above. It crossed above. It didn't close above. It crossed above, but it didn't close above. So right here, um, what's price telling me? It's there's no buyers really above 3760. So if I take that trade, um, I need to be willing to, to cut my loss possibly right here if price comes down and touches this line because it could break out. So that's what I'm talking about about you know really analyzing the chart. Um, objectively not subjectively not talking about support and resistance and supply and demand and all those other things but saying look here price is just doesn't seem to want to get above this area and stay above it i mean look what happened here it, it got above the 60 and then the very next hour it dropped all the way down to the 50 and below and what happened here? It was closed above 60. It, it was ranging and then got pushed down again. So those are the types of things we're going to look at, analyze, um, you know, just like looking at the smart ranges and things like that. We're going to get in this, probably really get into some nitty gritty. And, um, and of course, we'll probably still put some psychology in there because that's still important. But the actual um, chart reading, chart analysis, you know, chart techniques, we're going to talk about those and if you have any questions you know if there's some aspect about it you know let me know and we'll definitely do a video or two or maybe even you know three or four about it you know it's just like you know trading the higher low and lower high you know that m1 puts in every 34 you know for the 34 bars i mean this is an example you know price came down here's the m1 price moved up and right now, you'd be up a pip or so if you took that trade on the retrace, you know, and what, you look left, and you see, oh, it's coming out of some lower wicks. Maybe I'll take that trade. That's, what, that's the kind of thing we'll be doing. So, fellow traders, hope you had a profitable day, week. Hope your month's profitable so far. And I hope you're going to have a fun and safe weekend, too. So, next week. When you come back to your trading platform, always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the Rumpled One, over and out.